bodies here and no fucking time. All right? Iggy's got a bullet in Jackie, so he definitely can't be left here. What about the bitch? Jackie shot the bitch, pure and simple. The cops can make up a reason why. By the time they figure out that there's two sets of blood, we'll be long gone, right? So let's get him the fuck out of here. Iggy, go tell Steven to open the elevator and keep it clear, all right? Blaine, help me move her under the desk. I ain't touching her. She's dead. No shit. She's fucking dead. She's bald, too. Take her fucking legs. She ain't fucking there, Mark. Then you go do it. Shut the fuck up. You always tell me that and I'm sick of it. Well, grow up, Steve. I've been saying it since day one. I figured you'd be used to it by now. Besides, it's not even my fault, man. You're the one acting like a friggin' moron. 
Mr. Taylor told us to be there by nine, or not at all. Can you think the package is more important? What's ten minutes? No, fifteen. Fucking zip it, Steve, man. I mean, we're leaving it early, that's it. I mean, no one's gonna steal out of our garbage can. Just gives me a bad feeling, that's all. It's Murphy's Law. Murphy Brown? What? It's Murphy's Law. Don't tell me you haven't seen those crappy calendars that say all the shitty things that can happen in life. I'm sorry, Steve-o. It's like the whole concept is, is that whatever can go wrong will. You have to hope for the best, but expect the worst. I'm not exactly sure I follow you, but... It's like when you're waiting for the bus, and it's like, as soon as you leave that stop, it comes by. I don't know, Steve. I, I don't take the bus to Hove's lead. Fuck you. <laughs> Who's got the potty mouth now? You know what I mean. The risk is way too much. Steve, just just look around, man, okay? There's kids playing, dumb yuppies jogging, couples strolling, being romantic. God, they're fucking pathetic. Old ladies sitting in each other's cars gossiping about who's doing what and who's fucking who. I mean, they're pathetic. They got no lives, man. They're like extras in a movie. Nothing ever happens to them, and even if it does, it doesn't mean anything. It never amounts to shit. I mean, they're not here waiting for some guys to maybe leave a package early so they can maybe snag it and do whatever with whatever's inside it later. I mean, we're not under surveillance, Steve, but we have to go now if we want to get there on time, so let's fucking go. Yeah, okay. Damn yeah, fucking right, okay. Man, this is bad. Steve, would you grow up? I'm cold. I should stay. You're my drive, numb fuck. You're the numb fuck. Steve, get in the car. I just have a bad feeling about it, though. It's Murphy's Law. You know as soon as we're going to turn our back. Murphy's Are we back to Murphy's Law? Yes, we are. It's gonna happen. You're worse than my god. It wasn't there. No, I looked all through it. It wasn't there. What should I do? All right, I'll be right there. This is fucking bad. What are we gonna do? What, what do you want, money? Hey! The last guy that did that got fucking uh, dead, son. Hey, you fucking bastard. You've already done enough shooting for today. Come on, man, you've done enough shooting for a lifetime. How much more shit you trying to get us into what? anyway? I mean, like, you already had to fuck up this job. Just like you never last up, didn't you? Yeah. What, you, you fucking broke your job. Why are you fucking suck me? Oh, fuck, fuck, no. You boys just phone the fucking cops and say, hey, we're in the elevator, come get us. We're not gonna get out of this by fucking picking our own asses. We have to work the problem out and get the fuck out of here. I need some suggestions. Don't get your panties in a bunch, man. We'll get out of this, okay? Yeah. I don't know fucking fly. All I know is I've got this dead guy bleeding all over my new fucking shoes. Some pussy wanted like a bitch in the corner here. I don't even know what the fuck is this music? Stupid. Uh, uh, uh. Now we gotta get out of here, man. The cops are gonna come in on us. I mean, like, they're gonna come in with, with, with the SWAT teams and, and the snipers, and, and like, we're talking like, like, smoke, and, 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 and then you ever see the professional man? Take a breath. Shouldn't have got fucking killed. Now, where are the keys? Aha, uh -huh. here they are. Okay, choke out, clutch in, give her a little gas, 
Marvin. Yeah. Did you ever notice how on the old Star Trek the guys with the red suits always died? I mean, you know, like they beam down to a planet with Kirk, and uh, five minutes later, some three-headed yak is pulling their hearts out while the main characters sleep up on a boulder. Well, yeah, but the new Star Trek's not like that, is it? Yeah, it is. See, they're, but they're wearing yellow. Well, that's no guarantee that they're gonna buy it. Granted, they may not die, but you know that when the shit hits the fan, there's no way a main character's gonna buy it over an ensign. But, in the old Star Trek, the Ensigns died because they're following orders. In the new one, they seem to die because they make their own decisions. Well, it's their own fault, then. You think they deserve to die? Hey, you gotta follow the chain of command! 7,800, 7,900, 8,000, 8,000, that's it, that's all. Are you sure? Wasn't it uh, 8,200 last time? Shut up. And uh, 7,700 before that? Shut the fuck up! Maybe I can't concentrate with all this smoke in my face all the time. I mean, Mark, how can you smoke and eat at the same time? What is this? This fucking gross, man. That makes me fucking ill. Maybe you should have a little bit more respect for people at the dinner table. At least my habit doesn't cost 500 bucks a week. <laughs> yeah, why don't you put it to better use, like, uh, staying alive? Fuck off! It was my connection that got us this job in the first place. I deserve my fair share. That's fine. You can do whatever the fuck your heart desires with your money. But, uh, we're all risking our asses here, and you're no better than anyone else. I mean, we all have our own expenses. Unfortunately for you, we have to rip off Fort Knox. Well, fear not, my worrisome friend. After a couple more jobs at this rate, we'll be able to buy Fort Knox. What did you say? I said... I heard what you said. I'm wondering... What the bloody fuck are you talking about, Blaine? We all agreed that today was the last job. Too finished. Here it is. It's coming from a Think of all the money... We all agreed that it was too risky, man. Remember? Think of the shit we'd be in if the cops got wind. I mean... I've got a job at Blue Cross now, and Steven's looking. Yo, how am I supposed to get my needles, Mar? I don't know what to tell you, Ig. Maybe you should try something completely fucked up like... quit? Fuck that shit, man. Fuck that! Are you sure that's necessary? I'll get it. Not like any of you losers have any friends anyway. What are you doing? Something brought that truck halfway across the galaxy. And if it brought the truck here, it might be able to take us home too. I'd say it's worth a look. Mr. Barrett? Lenny, what are you doing here, man? You're not supposed to be here. I don't know, man. I just came to say. Never actually landed. What the fuck? Get out and shut the fuck up! Always putting the hand of PG a little faster. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Just cool it for a second, all right? Where's the shit, man? Where's the fucking shit? What are you talking about, man? <laughs> yeah, just cool it for a second, all right? Where's the fucking package? What? You, you didn't go pick it up? No, I was there, but the merchandise was. You guys want to explain to me, please? Got a fucking loss here. Fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! fuck. What if we have to leave this time? All right, somebody's gonna tell me what the fuck is going on. Fuck! It's not like that. Everybody, like everybody that. shut fuck. the fuck up. Mr. Didamanic Antonio wants to know the location of his package now. He doesn't want to know the cute little story you guys came up with about how a dog ate it or something. He sent me over to pick it up, and I'd better get it now, or you better start praying. Do you guys understand me? Let me explain. Boys, you're always fucking up Mr. D's business. Lucky you're still fucking worried. Okay, man, just listen. Just give me five minutes, and I'll explain everything. Mr. Jelly there, please. I'd like a chicken nugget combo, please. What do you mean there's no... Chicken nugget combo. Look, I don't think we're talking about the same Mr. Taylor. Fine then, I'll just have a plain combo. I want to speak to the Mr. Taylor I'm supposed to be speaking to. Which combo? Mr. Taylor? Just a combo. Can't I just arrange a combo, period? What? Fine, what's good then? How about 1130? Okay, how much is this gonna cost me? Nine. I can't, I, I got business. I don't got time for this. Fine, no, fine. Okay, I'll be there by nine. Okay, just bring me two apple pies. No, no, I, I can't believe you're out of- Apple pies? Just fine, bring me blue flake then. No, I don't want blueberry. That's shit. I came here to eat something good. You know what's good? Apple pies. 
I was wondering if you have anything in this entire establishment that vaguely resembles an apple pie. Well, I don't know if we'll go for that. Well, why don't we just go see that? Christ, fine! Thank you very much. Goodbye. No, not blueberry. That's shit. Do you know what an apple pie is? That's what I want. Hey, let's go. Just a sec. No, now? I don't want your stupid fucking apple pie anyway. So we gotta meet Mr. Taylor and be up at night. What? Mr. Taylor, be up night. What don't you understand? What I don't understand is that we're supposed to drop the package off at 9 o'clock. So we drop it 15 early. No, we're supposed to drop it off at 8.59 in Victoria Park, in the can, marked with a single piece of duct tape on it. You know how pissed off Lenny would be if he found out we disobeyed orders? What's gonna happen to it, Steve? I don't know. Look, the only people that know about this is us guys, Lenny, and Mr. D. I mean, the shit's gonna be fine, but we gotta go now. Yeah. Okay. Fucking right, okay. And then we dropped the package off, and we went to see Mr. T. And he wasn't even there, little prick. We were only two minutes late. <laughs> It was an accident. I'm sorry, it, it was our last show. <laughs> Fine. EM discharge to the lateral relays. I'm rerouting the ODN conduit. Another EM discharge. I think all right though. 20 kilometers to the landing site. We should be able to see it now. Bernie. Yeah, they don't have it. No, I'm sure. Do you want me to whack them? Prepare to release inertial dampers. Why not? They're all right here. Boom, 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 boom. What is it about these guys? I suppose. I don't know them as well as you do. They're off the train list, definitely. Anyway, this was their last gig. It was only a small stash. Alright, piece of cake. Alright, boys. We've got something I need you to do to save your sorry asses. Alright, guys. We gotta think of a way out of here. Well, what do you want to do? Walk out into the lobby and shoot anyone who looks in your face? Even if we leave the body here, we're still covered in blood. The body and everything's covered in fingerprints. And Bernie will kill us if we don't get caught by the cops when that fucker rats on us. Exactly. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. All right, what if we stop at two and take the stairs? Where are they? What? The exits. I don't know. Gu guys. Guys, you know what? I got it. I know. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna go down. We're gonna walk out and we're gonna ask all the people, do you know where the exits are? Because we just whacked this guy upstairs and can't seem to find a way out. Ah, oh, we wouldn't be in this shit if you did what you're told to do. This whole gig was your idea. Yeah, let's work for Bernie. We need the money. You need the money for your drugs, asshole. Fuck that shit. All right, listen to this, okay? We're gonna dump pussy face and the body off on third. We're gonna get off on second with our coats closed and our hands in our pockets and just get the fuck out. I don't know where the stairs are, but I'm sure it'll be close by. All right, let's do it. Fuck that, man! This guy is here in our faces! Do you have any better ideas, you junky asshole? Fucking right, man! Guys, just... Just hold on a second. Like, we, we've killed a guy today. Let's not make a friend, all right? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Serious. Fuck. What the fuck? This is my best and only suit, Coxnip! Blaine, I. I was the poet, weren't you, Ixter? I. Just, Blaine. No, Iggy, shh! 
okay? Now I'm gonna start talking and at no time will you interrupt me unless I so indicate. And if you so much as peep a word, Marvin will shoot your ass in a recreation of what you just did to me. Except this time, it ain't gonna be me, okay? So brief recap. Talk and you get a bullet for effort, okay? I don't know what has gotten into you, man. But as soon as we get out of here, you are never touching that stuff again. Marvin, help me up, please. Blaney, I, I, I can't really... I don't care, Marvin. Just get me off this court. Blaney, I... Marvin, no. Enough from you already, all right, Iggy? You just don't know when to keep your mouth shut. You know, before you decided to just shoot me, I got an idea. Yeah, I got an idea on how to get us out of here. And if this weren't just a scratch, we'd all be stuck here. Oh, fucking dead. You're one of those guys, you know that? One of those guys who can, who can go up and tell off a cop and just walk away and, and at the end of it? One of those, one of those guys who finds, finds change in front of a pop machine. One of those guys who, uh, who aces a test by guessing the multiple choice. But you know what? That's not what pisses me off. It's not. It's the fact. It's the fact that you don't even know it, and yeah, act like the world tr owes you something. You're just a little pisshead brat who ran away from home and expects the world to treat you well without having to earn it. You know, Iggy, we never wanted to do this. We never wanted to hurt anybody. We, we, we wanted to make money the honest way. N not, not, not to make a lot, but, you know, just, just to make enough. We never wanted to kill anybody. Sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, all right. So what now? Gotta get away from all this. Yeah, but first we have to get out of here. Oh yeah. Um. Remember a sign in the lobby by the elevators? Oh yeah. Do you remember what it said? No. No, because someone was too jacked up to pull his gun on someone. What did it say? It said that as of uh, further notice, the uh, third floor was closed for renovations. So? So, uh, what time is it? 12.04. So, did you ever watch the Flintstones? Where Fred jumps with the sound of the noon whistle? <laughs> well, every construction worker is a Fred fucking Flintstone. Either they're at a table munching or the place is empty. So? So the only way we're getting out of here, mon ami, is if we make everyone avert their attention to something else. If we make them close their eyes and run. How are we going to do that? We pull the fire alarm. Oh, yeah. Wicked. No, no, the elevator shuts down. So, we follow the running, fumbling, bumbling construction workers down the stairs. Easy as pie. Where'd you come up with that? I saw it in an indie film once. Blaine, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll buy you a new suit. If you better, I'd kick your ass. All right, you guys ready? All right, let's do it. All right, Iggy, you've got the least blood on you, so when we get there, quietly go get the alarm, all right? Blaine, keep Fag quiet. <laughs>